So if somebody asked about editing your film, and let's talk about that, and we will also talk about excuse me, using the script and different things like that, um, how that works with editing your film. What most people don't know is that the majority of what I do is editing. Filming just takes me a little bit of time. So all the times I mess up where I'm supposed to read Welcome to the Academic Skills Center Faculty newsletter of March 2018 and I say 2017, if I mess that up, it's still recorded. So I just stop and I look down and I reset and I say the speech over again. I make sure to pay attention to the camera. I don't just blither stuff out. I look down, I look at my speech and I look back up and I say the word. So editing often takes me a lot of time. And what if you can't afford editing software? Well, that's coming up later. But in editing, you can add music, photos, thumbnails, other videos. You can sometimes add links, previews for other videos, and section breaks. So a two-minute video for me could take 10 to 20 minutes for me to film, but it could take one to two hours to edit, depending on how fancy I want the video to appear. Whether I want to cut stuff, whether I want to add photos, whether I want to add text, all those different things. The phrase clean it up in post-production originates from the idea that you have a lot of messy stuff. And then you take two hours of filming and you put it into editing and you cut it down to 10 minutes. And you got rid of all the other stuff. You cleaned it up. When you mess up, and you will mess up when you are on camera, pause, reset, and think to yourself, do you need to start over at the last sentence or the entire paragraph? And so if you are reading one sentence and you mess that sentence up, it might be easy enough for you just to say that sentence again and just pause, reset, and give yourself editing time. So if you pause slightly before reading or messing up, then it's much easier for you to edit later on. So if you have a big chunk and you continually speak, it is very difficult to edit all that out. But if you take a pause, even if it's for five seconds, then you have the ability to slice that piece. Don't be afraid of messing up. Say something three to four to 10 times if necessary, but get it right. Or messing up could be a way of showing your audience that you're human. Breaking the fourth wall is speaking to your audience, letting them know that you are filming a video. I would say only do this in a very informal way and you're acknowledging your mistakes. It's, it's just, you just wanna make sure the audience you're talking to is somebody who's gonna be acceptable to that. Um, if you're, uh, again, doing a Scholars of Change video, I would not recommend it because it's going to be, you want to make that more formal. Be careful when adding music. You don't want to overwhelm your viewer. Keep water, your script, and paper towel near you because you might sweat a little. It just happens. You're nervous. Everybody's nervous. Make sure you get every shot because you can't control nature. If you, so what I mean by that, if the sun is over here and then you're filming and an hour later the sun is over here, that's going to completely change if you're trying to refilm everything. So make sure to pay attention to nature, especially if you're outside or the way light comes in.